and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a favorites of January. I have a fair amount of products that I used over and over and over in January and I wanted to share with them with you guys so that you know what I like. I have brushes, mascaras, eyeshadows, I have all kinds of things. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna talk about today is from Tarte and it is their Maracuja Oil. This oil right here, it says to apply two to three drops of Maracuja Oil in your hands, rub them together and apply to clean, dry skin on your face and neck. This oil right here, I use almost every single night. Um, it is so hydrating. It leaves my skin feeling absolutely amazing in the morning. Um, normally, whenever I wear makeup several times that week, then I use this religiously that week. Every single time I take off my makeup and wash my face, this is the oil that I put on and I actually put it on right before I go to bed leave it on all night long and when I wake up in the morning my skin just looks more plump, it looks more hydrated, looks more healthy um, and so I really, really, really love this oil. The little component that is in is super, super cute. It's got a little wooden top with a pump. You can unscrew it, push down on the pump, let it go, and then it has obviously like a little dripper and then you just press the little button at the top to let the drops out. I've had this for about a year and I don't know if you guys can see, but I have not even scratched the surface. You only need two to three drops, so this one little bitty bottle will last you such a long time. And it is so worth it if you want your skin, if you have dry skin or you just want your skin to look more healthy. And I use this a lot right after I had my daughter. I had dark circles under my eyes from lack of sleep. My skin was just so messed up from my hormones going crazy. And I started using this and it was a complete game changer. It is so good and so worth it. It. The next thing I want to talk about is this Morphe sponge right here. As you can tell, it is super loved. This Morphe sponge was $7. I purchased it because Jaclyn Hill raves about this sponge on her channel. She uses it all the time. It is great for contouring. It is great for blending. It's just amazing. Whenever you dampen it, it gets twice the size that it is right now. Um, it is just all around a really, really, really good beauty blender. It's very, very hard and it's very scary purchasing beauty blenders because you don't know whether they're dense, whether they're going to soak up too much product, you just don't know. But this beauty blender right here, again, it's at morphebrushes.com. It's $7. They actually have three different beauty sponges and it, they are amazing. And I'm actually going to purchase two or three of these just to have them on hand. Maybe throw one in my makeup bag that I travel with um, just to have it because it's so good. The next thing I want to talk about is actually what I have been blending my foundation in with for the past maybe two to three weeks. And that is the Morphe 439. This blending brush right here is phenomenal. Um, I was really, really leery about using a brush to put on my foundation because sometimes Brushes tend to leave your skin very streaky. It does not apply evenly. It just looks kind of funny. This is the very first Morphe brush that I have ever owned and I'm hooked. This is so good. I do, I wanna go out and buy another one. It does not shed. It is dense. It is nice. It is perfect. It blends your foundation like a dream. I can't remember whether this brush was $8 or whether it was $14. I feel like it was more on the 10 to 14 side, but I will put it in the description box below exactly how much this brush was. Um, so again, this is the Morphe 439. I use this to blend out my concealer as well and it works amazing. You will not regret buying this brush. The next brush I want to talk about is from EcoTools and this is their blending and bronzing brush. This brush is so soft and so amazing. Um, this is again another first for me. I have never owned an Eco Tools brush. I bought it off Amazon because I bought the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I was like, I really need a good bronzing brush to use with that bronzer. And so I purchased this. It was $8. And I am so glad that I did because it really just distributes the bronzer just amazing. It does not move around your foundation whenever you're blending. It just feels amazing. Um, it does not shed. It's dense. It's nice. I just, I love 
this brush. The next product I'm gonna talk about is probably something that 500 million other people are already talking about in their favorites video, but it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just purchased the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, but I have only had it for about a week, so I did not think it was fair to put it in my January favorites when I haven't had it long enough for it to be a favorite. But I have had the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer since December, and it is amazing. Before I had the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I was using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, which is also a really good concealer. Once I tried this bad boy, I was done. This concealer is so full coverage and so amazing, I cannot put it down. Every single time I try to do my makeup and I try to use a new concealer, I can't because I'm addicted. I like everything about this concealer. I like the color. I like the applicator. I like the formula. I like it all. This concealer is A++++ for sure. It's $27 at Ulta.com and of course you can get it at Tarte.com. So I'm just saying, and this is in, I'm in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm kind of in between super, super fair and kind of sort of medium. Um, and this works amazing for my skin. So if you have not tried the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I highly recommend it. I have three mascaras I want to talk to you guys today about. One is the Benefit Roller Lash. I've do not know if I've talked about this in another video. Um, this mascara is probably the best mascara I have ever tried in my entire life. It is so good. I got a sample of it in an Ipsy bag one time and I was completely hooked from the first time that I tried it. It separates your lashes beautifully. It is amazing. It is wonderful. It is the best. This is $24 at Ulta and it is completely worth every single penny that you spend. The next mascara is another one that a lot of people are talking about and it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. It is a wonderful, wonderful mascara. It coats your lashes beautifully. It separates them beautifully. The only downside that I have found to this mascara is that after I use it for a while, the product has started to clump up on the brush. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I'm having to take the brush out and then kind of like scrape it to get the excess off. Um, if that's totally normal, then it's normal, um, but I haven't had to do that with any of my other mascaras. This mascara, I obviously do it and don't really mind doing it because it is such a good mascara. It lasts all day, it does not bleed, it doesn't transfer onto my skin, and that is ultimately what I want. I do not want it to transfer, I do not want it to make my lashes all clumpy and gross and nasty, and this one does a wonderful job at separating my lashes and not getting all over my face. The last mascara is from CoverGirl, and this is their Lash Blast Volume Mascara. It is a mascara that I am wearing today. It is probably my favorite everyday mascara, if that makes sense. I wear this mascara whenever I do my makeup to go to work, whenever I do my makeup just to run some errands, um, which isn't very often because I'm lazy. This mascara has my very favorite wand. It is fat. The bristles on the brush are so tiny that it separates every single tiny itty bitty lash, and it just makes your lash lashes look so voluminous, it makes your lashes look like they have so much volume, so thick and so beautiful. And I love this mascara and I like it even more that it's only like five or six dollars at the drugstore. So again, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, your closest drugstore, super cheap. The next thing I want to talk about is I'm going to have to swallow my pride. One of my very first videos on this channel was Right before Christmas, I did a red lips review and I reviewed tons of drugstore red lip colors and formulas and brands. And there was one brand that I said I did not like and it was the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. The applicator was super, super weird. I didn't understand how to use the applicator. Um, it had a weird little divot in it. It just didn't make sense to me. After talking to some people and getting some opinions about the wand itself, I decided to give it another try. Um, I went out and bought the shade Nudie Patootie. And this is the exact same one as the red one that I used in my red lip um, review. This color right here is gorgeous. It is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is the perfect nude. Now that I have applied this lipstick 
multiple, I mean probably more than a dozen times, it is so much easier to maneuver the wand. I'm not going to be one that is going to hold anything back if I say I don't like something and then I discover that I do like something. I will swallow my pride and tell you that it just takes time to get used to the wand and now I know that. So now that I'm used to the wand and I know, let me show you the wand, it is just so different. That is the wand right there. It has such a deep divot and such such an interesting shape. I could not figure out how to use it when I did the red color. It bled, it was a mess, it wasn't even, It was. it looked horrendous but I got some opinions from other people they gave me some tips on how to use it and I got on YouTube and watched other videos of other people applying with the same wand and I was like let me try it a few more times and see if I can get it because the formula is so nice it's matte but it's not too matte it's not too drying it doesn't flake off it is a beautiful formula so I'm glad that I went out and got another color um, and I really really like it so I'm taking back what I said. It's not a bad lipstick. It just takes time to get used to the wand. The next thing I want to talk about is from e.l.f. and it is their cream contour palette. This is it right here. I have been using this bad boy every single time I do my makeup. I am wearing it today. This is obviously the shade that I'm in right here. It is so super pretty. It is perfect for my skin tone. That is it right there. It is more of an ashy cool tone brown um, and it is absolutely gorgeous and so easy to work with. So easy to blend. I think this was anywhere from four to six dollars. I'll make sure I put it in the description box below. Um, it is wonderful. It comes with a highlighter shade and then three contour shades. Um, these shades right here are a little bit too dark for me, so I stick with this one right here, and it's perfect for my skin tone. Um, I feel like e.l.f. is a very underrated brand. People think that whenever you buy e.l.f., it's because you need something cheap, that because e.l.f. is cheap, that it's not as good, and that is absolutely not the case at all. Elf, the brand Elf is a wonderful brand. I think it's underrated. I think they don't get enough credit for the stuff that they put out. Um, I have so many Elf products that I can honestly say that are better than some of my products that I pay 20, 15, 20 dollars for. So, and that's just my opinion, you know. I really like e.l.f. Moving right along to eyeshadow. Um, one of my favorite eyeshadows this month was actually from ColourPop and it is their Super Shock Shadow. And this is in the shade Lightning Bug. This is it right here. It is so beautiful. Let's <laughs> watch it right here. It is kind of like a putty. Like you can literally press it and it will move. Um, you go in with a very, very light hand or light finger, however you want to apply it. And I'm going to do a little swatch right there. It is so, so pretty, so pigmented. Um, I believe this was $5 on the ColourPop website. I really need to go back and get some more because the formula of this is gorgeous. I love, love, love it. It is super shiny, super shimmery. Um, and when, you know, whenever I go out, whenever I do go out, because you know, your girl never goes out. I like to put this all over my lid and just kind of smoke it out with maybe like some gray or some black or, I mean, there's lots and lots and lots of different ways that you can make this color work and they have tons of other colors. So the ColourPop website, go check it out. The next eyeshadow that I wanted to show you guys is actually from CoverGirl. It is their four quad palette right here. I do not normally work with this two colors right here on the left side, but this gold and this burgundy are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to swatch them for you real, real fast. This is the gold and this is the burgundy. They are so pretty and so pigmented and they blend out like a dream. I've used these two colors in this palette so much in the month of January and they are absolutely gorgeous. I use the more burgundy shade way more than I use the yellow shade but both of them are so so pretty. Um, I have used this white shade right here to set my lid a few times and it does work really really good for that. The green I maybe have swatched it once or twice but I just haven't used that color yet. But again this is Drugstore. It's CoverGirl and it is 
absolutely amazing. The last favorite for the month of January, and you guys are going to be so shocked, totally being sarcastic, is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And you guys know I use this palette for everything. My transition shades, my crease shades, my lid shades. The look that I am wearing right now was created with this palette. Um, I use these two shades right here, transition shade, crease shade, and these shades right here. This palette is just good. There's no way to go around it, miss it. It's just a good palette. The formula is absolutely amazing. They blend out like a dream. I was just able to give that palette away to one of my subscribers and I was so, so thankful that I was able to do that for you guys for supporting me. I've been using that palette every single time I do my makeup and I just love it. That palette is $38 on morphebrushes.com. It is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. She collabed with Morphe and created that palette together and they did a phenomenal job. Okay guys, so that is it for this favorites video. This is my very first favorites video and it was a lot of fun. I liked going through my stuff. I liked finding stuff that worked for me throughout the month. It made me feel very accomplished that I was able to sit down and come up with so many things that I purchased that I really, really enjoyed throughout the month of January. I will be doing a favorites video at the end of every single month of this year. So I'm excited to see what I accumulate, what I don't like, what I do like. Um, I may sneak a few products that didn't work for me videos in, just leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want to see that, if you want to see what didn't work for me. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And I also have my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter linked all below. So make sure that you guys follow me on all of those accounts so that you get updates on new videos and new giveaways whenever I do them. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one.